now I'm in. Hey Shoreline friends, I hope everyone is doing well, staying healthy and staying strong. Um, I was asked to read you a book, so I chose Franklin and the Tooth Fairy because I like Franklin books and also I know a lot of friends in Gym 1 were having wiggly teeth or losing teeth uh, since the beginning of this, the New Year, so I thought I would read Franklin Ooh. and the Tooth Fairy. Ooh. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had lots of friends, about one good friend named Bear. Franklin and Bear were the same age. They lived in the same neighborhood. They liked the same games. But one morning, Franklin discovered a way that he and Bear were different. Waiting for the school bus, Bear put his paw into his mouth and wiggled a tooth back and forth. It jiggled and wiggled and then, with a tug, it came out. Look at this, said Bear. I lost my first tooth. Franklin was startled. There was even a little blood on the tooth. That's terrible. How are you going to tell your mother? Bear just laughed. My teeth are supposed to fall out, said Bear. It makes room for my new grown-up teeth. Franklin ran his tongue around his gums. They were very smooth and firm and completely toothless. I don't have any teeth, said Franklin. It was Bear's turn now to be surprised. Franklin's friends shook their heads sadly. Too bad, they said. Franklin wondered why. He had never needed teeth before. Bear wrapped his teeth in a bit of tissue and put it in his backpack. I need to keep this safe, he said. All the way to school, Franklin wondered why Bear wanted to keep his tooth safe especially if he was going to get a brand new grown-up tooth. Now that was exciting. Why do you want to keep your tooth, asked Franklin. Won't you get a big one soon? All his friends looked at him with amazement. Don't you know about the tooth fairy, asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. At night before you go to sleep, you put your baby tooth under your pillow. Then the tooth fairy comes and takes the tooth away, exclaimed Fox. But that's stealing, said Franklin, and besides, what does the Tooth Fairy do with all those teeth? There was a big, there was a big long pause. Bear scratched his head, Fox swished his tail, and Rabbit twitched. I don't know, said Bear, but she always leaves something behind. One of her own teeth, asked Franklin. Everybody laughed. Ew. Oh, Franklin, said Fox, the Tooth Fairy leaves a present. Franklin wondered, hmm, what kind of present would a tooth fairy leave? I hope I get some money, said Bear. When I lost my first tooth, I got a book, said Raccoon. I got crayons, Fox said. Franklin rubbed his gums. He wished he had a tooth to leave for the tooth fairy. He wanted a present, too. Bear showed his tooth to Mr. Owl as soon as he got to school. Mr. Owl was very excited. Losing your baby teeth means that you're growing up, he said. Franklin did not say anything. He had no teeth, but he wanted to feel grown up too. Franklin was quiet for the rest of the day. Even at home, Franklin was quieter than usual. What's wrong, asked his mother. I don't have any teeth, he answered. Well, neither do we, said father, and that's why we are turtles. That's the way turtles are. But I want tea, said Franklin. His parents looked surprised. My friends get presents from the Tooth Fairy when they lose their teeth, said Franklin. Why do you want presents for old teeth, asked Franklin's father. Because it means you're growing up, said Franklin. I see, said father. That night, just before bed, Franklin had a good idea. Perhaps Tooth Fairies didn't know that turtles have no teeth. He found a tiny white rock to put under his shell, and he asked his mother to help him write a note. It said, Dear Tooth Fairy, this is a turtle tooth. You may not have seen one before. Please leave a present, Franklin. Franklin woke up very early the next morning. He looked under his shell. The rock was gone, but there was a note instead of a present. He ran to his parents' room. What does it say, he asked. Franklin's father put on his reading glasses. It says, Dear Franklin, sorry, turtles don't have teeth. Good try. Your friend, 
the Tooth Fairy. Franklin was very unhappy until he noticed a big wrapped present near his breakfast bowl. Open it, said his mother. Inside was a beautiful book. Who's it from, though, asked Franklin. It's from us, said his parents, to celebrate you growing up. Franklin stood very tall. Thank you, he said. From then on, Franklin didn't worry about being different from Bear. He knew that in all the important ways, he and Bear were exactly the same. I look forward to seeing you very soon, my shoreline friends, and your beautiful faces. Until then, I wish you well. Bye.